TYT Sports locked out, so the National League pennant goes to the San Francisco Giants after they overcame a 3-1 deficit to beat the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, in these last three games, games 5, 6, and 7, we talked about Detroit's pitching. San Francisco's was even more dominant. They threw out Barry Zito in game 5. He went 7 and 2 thirds innings pitch, 6 hits, 1 walk, 6 strikeouts, Ryan Vogelsong gave up the one earned run that the Cardinals would score in these last three games. And Matt Cain pitched his second closer in October. Five and two-thirds innings pitched last night. Five hits, one walk, four strikeouts. These three pitchers went a combined 20 and a third innings pitch. 15 hits, three walks, 19 strikeouts. The Cardinals with runners in scoring position in these last three games, games five, six, and seven combined, were one for 21. That is flat out abysmal, guys. No timely hitting coming from the Cardinals in these last three games. And also, they were outscored 20 to 1 in these last three games. Now, Hunter Pence started it off in the third inning basically blowing the game wide open. He had a weird and awkward broken bat double. He took a weird hop on uh, the Cardinals shortstop Cosma and went past him. He misjudged the ball because of the spin on it. So he drove in two. Buster Posey was the third run that came in off of a John Jay error. Kane, Matt Cain even added an RBI in this game. Prior to that odd hit from Hunter Pence, Sergio Romo finished it off in the ninth inning, going Gagnum style on the mound. The rain was pouring down. The, obviously, you have to play through it. The infield was like a freaking lake by the time this game ended. All these fans with their orange rally towels, great fans there in San Francisco, saw an amazing come-from-behind performance from the, from the San Francisco Giants team. Marco Scudero tied an LCS record with 14 hits out of 28 at-bats, and he also had his sixth multi-hit game in the LCS yesterday. That is a record, and he was the obvious choice for the NLCS MVP. This is his first World Series appearance, a well-traveled Marco Scudero in Major League Baseball, and he sounded so thankful and candid when he was being interviewed by Aaron Andrews, knowing that, you know what, he does not get a ton of chances to go to the World Series. He went with Oakland. He's now going with San Francisco, just his second time in his long Major League career. For San Francisco, this is their second appearance in three years. They had their record-tying six elimination game this postseason, and this will be their 19th World Series appearance. Pablo Sandoval has been playing great. The pitching has been dominant. Game one, we'll see who outlasts who in San Francisco. By the way, I should probably throw this out there before I actually say it. Justin Verlander is going up against Barry Zito. Zito, who I just said pitched a stellar game five. You got to think that the Tigers will take game one because they have their ace going up against Zito. Uh, we want to hear all of your thoughts, though. Do you think that the Giants could possibly win this one. It's the 2-3-2 two, two format. So the Giants host the Tigers for two. They go to Detroit for three, and then back in San Francisco for two if needed. So we want to hear all of your thoughts. Leave those in the comments section below. Whose pitching will be better than the others? I mean, these are great, great starters and solid bullpens. Whose hitting will be better? So we want to hear all of your thoughts. Leave those in the comments section below. Tweet those at me, Eric Strom, and do us a favor. Baseball fans, Giants, Tigers, hoping for a good World Series, whatever the hell you may be, do us a favor, man. Subscribe to TYT Sports.